What are the charges for a second DUI in the great state of Indiana? Well, it's going to depend, which, you know, I feel like a lawyer is saying that all the time. It depends, but it does. If the second DUI is outside of seven years from your first DUI, and I'm talking the date of conviction, so if it's seven years in one day, well, the second DUI is going to be a misdemeanor, and that's awesome. Misdemeanor is so much better than a felony. I can't stress that enough. Never want a felony if you can get a misdemeanor. Just don't want that. So if it's a misdemeanor, well, your maximum time in jail is one year. And your minimum is no longer zero. Your minimum is now five actual days. Now, some people call me up, well, Mark, hey, I got my second DUI. Uh, you helped me with my first one. Um, just give me a quick plea to those five days. That's the minimum. Most prosecutors want more. Most judges want more than the minimum. So that's just the range. The minimum is five days. The maximum is one year if a person has that second DUI outside of seven years of their first DUI. The maximum license suspension is one year. The minimum license suspension is one year. Well, that's not fair, Mark. That's the way the law is. So if your second DUI, even if your second DUI is like 15 years after your first one, the minimum license suspension is one year. They put that in the DUI death statute, but it, that's the law. So it's the full gamut, anywhere in between there. Prosecutors and judges typically want more punishment, more pain, more jail. The closer that second DUI is in time to the first DUI. So that's just the reality. Second DUI is important. You want to get an attorney involved as soon as possible. Because again, we have to start doing things typically before the first court date to show the judge, show the prosecutor, this is a mistake. Yeah, you made it before. You're not a bad person. This is not who you really are. Now, if your second DUI is within seven years of the first one, well, then it's going to be a felony. And felonies, again, not good. Felonies are bad. We don't want felonies. But we deal with felonies all the time in this law firm. And just because it starts as a felony doesn't mean it's going to necessarily end as a felony. But we have to give the prosecutor and judges reasons to want to make the felony go away. And so that's why getting an attorney involved with the second DUI is so important. Because I want my clients to start doing things even before the, before the first court date so we can show the prosecutor, show the judges, I'm not a bad person. And most of my clients aren't bad people. They made a mistake. Some people make two, three mistakes. That's okay because we're not perfect. We are imperfect people trying to live perfect lives. And that's okay. We make mistakes. But we have to show the prosecutor and judges that we're um, trying to correct the course. Usually we have to get the person into a county approved alcohol evaluation. But Mark, if I do an evaluation, they look like I'm guilty. Well, there's rules of evidence. They're not allowed to consider that. But doing that evaluation will help minimize the jail time, minimize the punishment, minimize the pain. So getting us involved as soon as possible is paramount. It's county specific. We can usually try to keep a person driving, even if it is their second DUI. Some judges fight back on that and won't even consider allowing a person to drive unless they've made some proactive movements. Again, getting the attorney involved as soon as possible can make the biggest difference in any DUI case, but even more so with a second DUI case. So if you have any questions about DUI law, second DUIs, DUI in general, man, I'll talk about DUI defense all day, every day. Give me a call, 317-632-3642. Most importantly, remember, always plead the fifth.